ほう向かってくるのか逃げずにこのディオに近づいてくるのか近づかなきゃてめえをぶちのめせないんだなほうほうでは十分近づくがよい Hey guys, it's San, and welcome back to the Bulba Squad. So, as you can tell, today's a little bit of a special video. I am not only opening up a product, I am opening up a very special product. I hope you enjoyed that little skit at the beginning. I've decided to open up my Gyarados and Magic Cart Pikachu box, or Poncho box. Yes, you heard right. So, while we're opening this up, I'm going to be a little more relaxed because this is a special occasion for me. And man, this is really stuck in there. There we go. So, long story short, I realized I don't actually want to sell this box. This I want to really enjoy and just have fun with it. I just want to have fun with it and essentially... Even if this box were to 10x, um, my cost basis was $1,500, courtesy of Old School Pokemon. Go check out his channel and his eBay, by the way. Great guy. Um, even if it were to be $15,000 in a decade, I wouldn't want to sell it because this is one of those very few, very rare items I have in my collection that it's just, it's just part of my collection. I, I specifically tell you guys, keep your collection small and your inventory large. Well, this is like one of my personal five pieces of collection. Like, that's it. I, I don't have very much in my collection. How do I open this? Oh, there we go. I, th I think I see. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm, I've never opened one of these. This is a... And I'm very anxious. I don't want to tear up the box because it's so pretty. So this is a $1,500 box currently on eBay. You can find it cheapest. Buy it now. $1,565. On screen, I'm going to be showing the various prices of the different aspects of the box, and you get to see the actual intrinsic value once it's been cracked. So, while we're opening this, I wanted to have a fun conversation, and sorry if I'm going to keep getting sidetracked because I'm just going to admire this box. I have wanted to open this so bad. Oh man, that's beautiful. But we're going to put you guys off to the side for now. I'll handle you later. But, essentially, I have, this, I have this little principle I call uh, the population-driven versus the awareness-driven categories and cards. Essentially, the concept is if it is within the population-driven cards, i.e. first edition base set or any, any main set card, really, the more people in the hobby there are, the higher those values go because the ratio of people to the cards goes down they become more rare. Versus the awareness category is items that aren't necessarily well no known by people. Ooh, I'm, there's something in here. I'm going to have to open that in a minute. Isn't They're not well known by people. Example are your ponchos. Technically, you could even put the munch promos in there for a while. Essentially, all Japanese promos and tournament promos, even to an extent trophy cards in some cases. Because there's a lot of trophy cards that aren't all that well known. Man, this box is just gorgeous. I mean, look at it. Seriously. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, this is the first time you'll see me really nerding out with stuff like this. So, one, the way it works is in the population driven, your prices will be increased as more people enter the hobby. Awareness is no one knows about it, so should you ever begin the transition, because all awareness cards really only appreciate the closer they get to falling into the population-driven category. As they be... Ooh, that's a lot of crinkling. I gotta... Don't wanna... I'm just gonna use the scissors. I don't wanna mess up the mic too much. There. So... As they make the transition, these cards will kind of go either exponential or at least have very rapid growth all of a sudden as people's attention gets attracted to it. And because they're in this awareness-driven category, it typically means there's not an insane amount. Insane being the population that you would have for any main set card, meaning like tens of thousands, possibly even hundreds of thousands in some cases. Ah, oh, that's cool. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Here you guys go. 
and not the other one. And they experience very rapid growth. That's exactly what happened with all the poncho boxes. You want a, the best example? Watch what happened to Mario Pikachu and Luigi Pikachu. Those boxes went exponential for a period of time as exposure to them increased. This was thanks to creators like uh, SM Pratt, Twice Baked Jake, just everyone who was in the, in the field talked about the poncho boxes and they went exponential. So what is the point of talking about all this? Long story short, let's, act, let's go ahead and open the packs. Long story short, wait a minute, I think this is XY Breakpoint packs, or I don't know which set this is. Oh no, Ancient Origins. Maybe? Eh, ancient, I'm gonna go with Ancient Origins. These cards, <sighs> these cards went through a phase of exponential growth because they became so popular, but they overshot the mark as, as expected whenever anything is going through massive growth. The market just exceed overestimates the value of things and they were got really expensive i believe this box for a period of time was like 2000 plus and so now a lot of the poncho boxes are actually depreciating and coming back down to earth so i expect this this uh pikachu this gyarados magic cart box I could potentially dip down a bit more man these cards are actually really nice i haven't uh, handled japanese cards all that often I like them, but I expect them to be able to depreciate a, a bit more. I'm not sure how much, but the opportunity to buy the poncho boxes of any specific one, just any, just, it doesn't matter which one, is coming up in a couple months, maybe in a few years, or just in a year, who knows, okay? You, you just need to monitor, monitor them and really educate yourself. That's a cool energy. What, what's this? Oh! I, I actually pulled something. A uh, EX Rayquaza. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't actually expect to pull anything nice. Uh, I don't care how much it's worth. It's just a nice Rayquaza. And I'm sure uh, Sarah, your editor behind the scenes, is going to be upset if I were to try and sell that. Because she is a pretty big... Rayquaza fan, not to mention it. this is Japanese, so you know, it's just by default better. Like, it doesn't matter. Kanji's cooler than English anyway. So yes, back to what I was saying. If you guys have been keeping your eye on the poncho boxes, like you've wanted them either for your own investment or collection, I personally just wanted these for collection. I do plan to purchase the rest of the poncho boxes because I want them, and so does Sarah. Then, and... Oh, did we get some? No, just a reverse hollow. Even reverse hollows look nice. But the time could be coming in probably a year or two years. If you guys really want to get better information on that, channels like uh, technically even old school because he does move these and he has moved in them. Maybe even if you left a comment under his YouTube videos, you could ask him about it. He's, he's, he's per my personal go-to on ponchos and getting information on so they, he could help you get some information on how to navigate them. You could even go to Pokenomics. I know for a fact he definitely knows how to handle his way around the ponchos. Ooh, a Giratina EX. Nice. I mean, I'll take it. These were just some random packs that just so happened to be alongside my... Uh, I'm going to have to save these sleeves. Giratina EX, you're going to be sacrificed for now. So that's really all there is to this video. I'm now just going to enjoy this piece. I have waited for so long. I have wanted these guys ever since I learned about them. When I first started in this hobby, I have wanted these two. I love Gyarados. I love Magikarp. They are perfect. Let's put you up to the side for now. Let's just enjoy you. That's that's beautiful. That's gorgeous. Essentially, finally, some good cardboard. You know, because most of the cardboard I handle is utter garbage to me. It's just like I'm I'm buying it to sell it. This is essentially if you guys ever seen that Kitchen Nightmares episode where uh, Gordon Ramsay has some really good red velvet cake from his from that uh, grandma. That's how I feel right now. Ah, perfect. 
All right, let's see this bad boy. I'm not gonna lie, I did expect a little more holographic pattern on him, but either way, I'm just happy. I've wanted these guys. I don't even know if I'm gonna send them into PSA to grade because part of the reason you send a PSA is you wanna be able to flip it down the line. And the thing is, if I rem remember, if I wanted to just flip this down the line, I would have left it sealed. That's the best way to retain the value. So I might just put these in a one touch protector, which I'll flash one on screen because I know there's a lot of people who don't know what they are. You're gonna be seeing these in, the back, in my background with those one touch uh, protector cases. They're really nice and they're not all that expensive. I think you could get them for like seven, eight dollars. I'm not sure because I've only bought them once for a friend and that was it. So yeah, that's it. This is my poncho box and honestly, I am so happy with what I got and uh, <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Uh, this is adorable, okay. If you guys actually watched this video, thank you um, for actually coming and watching something that wasn't purely investing in talk. And that, yeah, there was some information, but it was honestly kind of boring. I'm not all that, I'm not all that energetic when opening up stuff. I'm not gonna pretend. I'm, this is me happy and excited and enjoying my stuff. Either way, if you guys enjoy, enjoy the content, consider supporting the channel on Patreon. And if you, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.